Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick video. I picked up a set of CADCO Universal Headers. Now they sell these for later, like 77 and up, uh, rear wheel drive Cadillac. Uh, they say they work on trucks, which is why I grabbed them. Um, but I thought I'd do a quick video and show you what they look like. Uh, the header on this side is swept back and it stays pretty close to the block. Um, the big problem, of course, is always trying to miss the, the starter. And this has to kick out, of course, to try and do that. So it comes around the starter. Um, it comes out a little bit. It's not too bad. They try real hard to keep it tucked in. And remember on the uh, truck, when I measured the frame rail in about the middle of where the motor is going to be, um, it was like 24 and a half inches. Well, I marked this one on the floor and across the motor on the outside edge of the header in the center. Now, of course, it kicks out a little bit more coming back here, but there's actually more room on the frame back there usually. But right here in the middle, this one is coming out 27 inches. So this is pretty darn close. Now, the header sits up. And so remember, the frame will probably be down below most of where I'm actually measuring. Um, so I think they're right. I think for the most part, it should clear the frame. It's going to be close, but uh, it looks like it should, should come pretty darn close. Now, the header number is a uh, 41131. And, uh, like I said, it's listed for late model, but they also say it works on a lot of other real wheel drives. Now, the header on the driver's side, I love. This side is gorgeous. Um, it tucks in really nice to the block. Um, kicks out to get just around the, the bell housing. It, uh, it stays in tight. Remember, this is driver's side, so... You'll have trouble with uh, like steering shaft on this side, and uh, this is going to give you about as much room as you're going to ever get. Um, the header is is tucked up tight to the block. It uh, it tucks in close even at the bottom. Um, it comes out at a 45 degree angle. This this side is just gorgeous. I mean, you couldn't do better than that. I mean, it's going to be as tight to the motor. As just about any header is going to be on this side. So I just, I love this side. Now you got to remember, I have never dealt with any of these CADCO headers before. Um, these were made by, uh, designed by a friend of mine. Uh, they're made off site at CADCO um, to the specifications, the jigs that the friend of mine made. And uh, I, I've just never had to deal with them. I, I've always done my own thing on headers. So this is the first time I'm looking at them too. But like I said, this side is just exactly what I'd want. And as tight as it's going to get. Um, this side, I'm not real sure about. Um, I mean, I think it's going to work. I, I wish the angle was more like a 45 um, I'm going to have to figure out what the angle is so that I can get a tube to match up to the rest of the exhaust. Um, I kind of know what they were thinking when they did this. And of course, like I said, it was designed for 77 and up Cadillac. So I'm sure they were missing stuff that was in that car. And uh, I'm, of course, going into uh, a Chevy truck is my goal. Um they say they fit. They also said that, you know, on a half ton, which technically mine is a camper special, so it's three quarter ton uh, listed as a half ton. They said the frame gets a little tighter and it might have to slightly notch the frame. And I could see that maybe back here. And like I said, my measurement on the floor was 27 inches. So it's definitely going to be tight. I mean, it, of course, sweeps back, so it clears the, the motor mount without any problem. 
and, and I do have to admit, I mean, the starter is just gorgeous. And these headers are up. I mean, look at them compared to the pan. Um, they are definitely up and out of the way. So, they might actually work okay. Um, like I said, I love the one on the other side. Uh, this side might need just a little bit of work when it goes in. So, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, I'll have to make a decision on whether or not I want to uh, run them or if I'm going to take them back. The uh, couple of things I noticed when I was bolting them to the motor. First off, these are very heavy gauge tubes. They're very rugged. Um, I think they're like Schedule 80 maybe. Um, very heavy tubes. They are not a lightweight uh, header. And the flanges are thick. And all the bolts went right in without giving me any trouble at all. Uh, in fact, a lot of them I zipped in with a gun. And so, I was really happy with the fit and how they went. And uh, if I decide to keep them, we'll put the mufflers back on it and run them and see what we think and what they sound like. Um, i got to decide on this side. I Like I said, the other side, I, I may keep these just because I like the other side so well. Um, I couldn't build a better header for that other side. That is just perfect. Uh, this side I have to think about a little bit. So anyway, this is a really short video. Um, I was just talking about the headers. Uh, I'm working on a couple of carbs at the moment. You notice we don't have a, a carb on it. They're, they're off to their prospective cars. Um, I've got another one over here I need to do, and then we'll get the quadrajet back on it and see how that goes. So, uh, I'll be talking to you later. I wish you luck with all your projects. And this is the CADCO Universal Header. Um, nicely made. You know, I have to admit, if nothing else, it is very well constructed. Uh, it is solid. It is thick-walled. It is thick-flanged. It is really a very well-made header. So, anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys later, and good luck with all your projects. Bye.